Welcome to this session of the AWS EC2 15th birthday event. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. I'm joined by Mina Godar, the Principal Product Manager for AWS Outpost at AWS. Mina, welcome to the program. Thanks, Lisa. It's great to be joining here today. So you were the first product manager hired to lead the development of the Outpost service. Talk to us about back in the day, the vision of Outpost at that time. Yeah, Outpost vision has always been to extend the AWS experience to customers on-premises location and provide a truly consistent hybrid experience with the same AWS services, APIs, and suite of tools available at the region. So we launched Outpost to support customers' workloads that uh, cannot migrate to the region. Um, these are applications that are uh, sensitive to latency, such as manufacturing workloads, financial trading workloads. Um, then there are applications that do heavy edge data processing like image assisted diagnostics in hospitals, for example, or smart cities um, that are fitted with cameras and sensors that gather so much data. Um, and then another use case was uh, regarding data residency that need to remain within certain jurisdictions. Um, now that AWS cloud is available in, uh, 25 regions and we have seven more coming, uh, but that doesn't cover every corner of the world um, and customers want us to be closer to their end users. So Outpost allows them to bring the AWS experience where customer wants us to be. Um, to answer your question about the use case uh, evolution, um, along the way, in addition to the few that I just mentioned, we've, we've seen a couple of surprises. Uh, the first one is uh, application migration. Um, it is an interesting trend from large enterprises that uh, could run applications in the cloud, but must first re-architect their applications to be cloud ready. Uh, these applications need to go through modernization while remaining in close proximity to other dependent systems. So by using Outpost, customers can modernize and containerize using AWS services while they continue to remain uh, on-premises before moving to the region. Um, here, Outpost acts as a launch pad, serving them to make that leap to the region. Uh, we were also surprised by the different types of data residency use cases that uh, customers are thinking about uh, Outpost. Uh, for example, iGaming. Um, as uh, sports betting is uh, a growing trend in many countries, um, they're also heavily regulated, requiring providers to run their applications within uh, state boundaries. Uh, Outpost allows application providers to like standardize on a common AWS infrastructure and deploy the application in as many locations as they want to scale. So uh, a lot of evolution in its short time frame. And I know that as we're here talking about the EC2 15th birthday, EC2, Amazon EC2 core to AWS, but it's also at the core of Outposts. How does EC2 work on Outposts? You know, the, the simple answer is EC2 works just the same as Outposts uh, does in the, in the region. So giving customers access to the same APIs, tools and metrics that they are familiar with. Uh, with Outpost, customers will uh, access the capacity just like how they would access them in an availability zone. Uh, customers can um, extend their VPC from the region and launch EC2 instances using the same APIs, just like how they would do in the region. So uh, they, they also get to benefit all the tools like auto scaling, CloudWatch metrics, flow logs that they are already familiar with. So uh, the other thing that I also want to uh, share is um, at GA, we launched Outpost with the, with the Gen 5 Intel Cascade Lake processor based instances uh, as that's because they run on AWS Nitro systems. Um, the Nitro systems allows us to extend the AWS experience to customers uh, location in a, in a secure manner and bring all the capabilities to manage and virtualize the underlying compute storage and network capabilities, uh, just the way we do that in the region. So staying true to the Outpost product vision, uh, customers can experience the same sort of 
EC2 feature sets like uh, EC2 placement groups, on-demand capacity reservations, sharing through resource access managers, IAM policies, and, and, and security groups. So it, it really is the same EC2. I imagine having that same experience, the user experience was a big advantage for customers that were in the last 18 months rapidly transforming and digitizing their businesses. Any customer examples pop up that to you that really speak to, we kept this user experience the same, it really helped customers pivot quickly when the pandemic struck? It almost feels like we haven't missed a beat. Um, Outposts being a fully managed service that can be rolled into customer's data center has been a huge differentiator, especially at a time where customers have to be nimble and ready to respond to uh, their customers or end users. Um, if at all, we've seen uh, the adoption accelerate in the last 12 to 18 months. And, and that is reflected through our global expansion. We currently support 60 countries worldwide and, and we've seen customers uh, deploying outposts and, and migrating more applications to run on outposts worldwide. Right, right. So lots of evolution going on, as I mentioned a minute ago. Uh, talk to me about some of the things that you're most excited about. What do you think is coming on the pike in the next six to 10 months? Uh, we're excited about um, expanding the core EC2 instance offerings, uh, especially bringing um, our own Graviton ARM processor-based instances on outposts. Uh, because of the AWS Nitro systems, most EC2 instances that launch in the region will also become available on Outpost. Again, back to the, the vision to provide a consistent hybrid experience for AWS customers. Uh, we're also excited about the 1U and 2U Outpost server form factors, which we will launch later this year. The Outpost servers will support both the Intel Ice Lake processor-based instances and also Graviton processor-based instances. So customers who can't install an you know, 42U form factor Outpost can now bring uh, AWS experience in retail stores, back office, and other remote locations that are not traditional data centers. So we're very excited about uh, our next couple of years uh, and what we are going to be launching for customers. Excellent, Mina, thank you for joining me today for the EC2 15th birthday, talking about the vision of Outpost. Again, you were the first product manager hired to lead the development of that, pretty exciting. What's gone on then, the unique use cases that have driven its evolution and some of the things that are coming down the pike. And very exciting, thank you for your time. Thank you, Lisa. For Mina Godar, I'm Lisa Martin, thanks for watching.